Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a translation of a message that I received. The translation reads like this. Hello, Brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I have come here on your platform because I want your listeners to assist me and I want to share and I want you to share my own story on your platform. My story, it goes on like this. I am currently staying here in Narare, where I am working as a maid. But the people that I am working for, they are really taking advantage of me. They are only giving me 50 US dollars a month. The family that I am working for, they have three kids that go to school. So for me to catch the time that they go to school and to prepare for them in time, I have to start working at 5 a.m. Then I knock off at 9 p.m. And until the end of the month, I do not have any off. If there is any off that they want to give me to return back to the village, they go with me to the village. Then they'll say the next day I have to return back to the city. They are only giving me 50 US dollars a month. When I left the village coming to Harare, it was because of my friend who is also working as a maid but the family that she is working for at least they are giving her 120 us dollars a month which is far much better than what i am getting so i came here thinking that i was going to get at least a better life so that i can have enough money to send to my mom and i have one child who is staying with my mom in the village but now it seems as if the only possible way out of this if i can do these rituals so a few months ago that was when i started speaking with this other man so me and this man we met on facebook but he's also here in harare this man, he seems to be a very powerful traditional healer who seems to have helped some people overnight. Looking at him online, what he does, the work he, that he does and the videos that he has been sending to me because he did send to me a couple of videos of people that come to his shrine. A lot of people that you can see that they have money. You will be like, you can see my child that these people, they would never come to me if i was a scammer so at first i thought that maybe he was a scammer but my desperation then led me to his doorstep to his shrine i thought that maybe you could help me too when i first met him he looked at me because he uses this other magic mirror and i saw that he could see everything that had brought me to his shrine from the moment that my parents met he said that my father was someone that had a great destiny but when my father started dating my mother, that was when my mother's auntie said that my mother, she can never enjoy life. Then my auntie cursed my father. That was why we grew up in so much poverty because of what my auntie did. She placed a curse on my father. He told me everything. Then I started to cry. And then he said that at his shrine, at his surgery, he does not allow people to cry because it is a place of safety. So he said, do not cry, my child, for I am here to help you. Whilst I was at his consultation room, that was when he told me that he was going to make all of my dreams to come true. But it was going to come with a price. And at that time, I was honestly willing to do anything. This happened in June. When I went to his house, he told me that he can give me great wealth and I can even buy a very big house and I can buy a lot of cars. He said that, young girl, the way that you are going to be buying cars in the future, it is like right now you can even afford to buy a bicycle and that is what you will be doing you will be able to buy a car as if you are buying a bicycle but in return he then said that he wants something from me i said what do you want he then told me that he wants my womb so since that time that i went to his shrine i have not yet returned back to him because he said that he needs my womb he needs me he wants me to sell my womb to him so that he can give me the charm that is going to give me great wealth so i was like is there nothing else that we can do because considering my womb i said what if i get married in the future because right now i am only 24 years old only one child maybe i might want to get married in the future 
And then he said that for you to have money, you need to make a painful sacrifice. And I said, well, how about my child? How about if I choose to sacrifice my child? Is that not painful? He then looked into the mirror and he said that the mirror had told him that it is not going to be painful if I sacrifice my mother or my child. And the mirror said that the only pain that it can give to me is if I sacrifice my womb. That is what is going to cause a lot of pain to me. He has since told me that a lot of women has done this, have sold their wombs to him and they are doing okay in life he said that once i agree automatically it will mean that i will never be able to have children again in my life but i will be very very rich he promised me that no one will ever know that this is what i have done i'll be having my one child and i will never be able to get married again and me not getting married what will happening is that i will never be allowed to sleep with a man whom we can consider to be normal. I am only supposed to sleep with men, those that will be running mad. I have to run around looking for men that are mad and begging them to sleep with me for the rest of my life, but I will be enjoying my money, so he said. So this has made me to feel very confused. You can just imagine all my life knowing that I don't have a womb and at the same time knowing that Whenever I want to sleep with a man, I have to go into the streets and sleep with mad men. From June, July, now that we are in August, I have been thinking about it. And at the same time, I am telling myself that this is the only way that I can finally escape my poverty. I do not want to struggle again in life and I am thinking about my child. It's like this is the only way out, the only way out of poverty. This is the only way that I can sustain myself and to help my relatives, my mother. Because from where I come from, a lot of people, they do look down upon me and my mother. So I am thinking that this is the only way out to sacrifice myself for the rest of my generation. As for me, the price that I have to pay is to lose my own womb. I left his consultation room and I have not yet gone back to that traditional healer. Each and every time when I get that 50 US dollars, then I feel so much pain in my heart telling myself that this money that I am getting, it is not a lot. I can't take care of myself because in the city, I have to get my hair done. I need to buy my sanitary pads and I also need to send my mom some money. Whenever I send her the money, she will tell me that the money is not enough. When I say, please send me pictures of my child, my child will be the only one among, amongst other kids in the village who will be wearing clothes that are torn. And I think about my child and I say, if I can agree to this, then I can offer my child a better life and I have to pay by losing my womb. So that is why I brought this confession to you. Please post for me. And I don't want people to tell me that you have to pray, you have to pray because I have been praying for the longest time. I need practical solutions. What am I supposed to do? Tell me when you post my story so that I can follow through in the comment section. I want to hear what your listeners are going to say about my confession. What am I supposed to do? Don't tell me to pray because poverty has really affected me. Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me. So that was the narration of that message that she sent to me. Strange things indeed they do happen in this world.